Did I find a way to solo the tribute? Well, like, we got to the last boss, and we kind of did the last boss, but, uh, soloing it is not efficient in terms of gold, so this is better, I think. So usually when you get here, there, there'll be a patrol below, you can just mark it, and, uh, I need to bind mind vision. Fuck it, let's do it here. Um, and you can just mind vision them there, and you can check for the book. There's one that spawns here, just under this root, which is not there currently, and there's one in this corner. Pretty sure we can see it, but yeah, so it should spawn around here. So, if you're Dwarf, you can whack under the, the fine treasure, and I just mark the mobs as I go, just so I don't run into them. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a real warp wood pod, so this one looks pretty real. I might just wait for this guy. I'm wondering if you can run from this side, but there's a Dreamfall there, if you've got Herb. Herb is, is kind of nice for this, but also there's a lot of herbs that are a bit out of reach, I think. Um, so you're probably better off doing... If you've got herb and your friend's got mining or something like that, then you'll be better off doing a duo run with a warrior. Um, the annoying thing is some of them are upstairs, but as long as we've got one, we just need to get one uh, thorn link for the last boss. How do you get the book without killing the lashes? Um, you can actually just run up to both of them. One of them you get from the back. Wow, this was fake. Yikes. And uh, I generally want to try and avoid killing this guy. It's just going to save me some time. And uh, we're just going to fight the lasher. The fell lash, rather. And I'm hoping... That the last uh, pack is three melee, so we can get a nice PB, but we'll see. And uh, we're just going to pull the boss over to this ledge. And he should go around this way. And then come over to us. And then should go the other way again. I've just fucked it up because I got knocked off, unfortunately. So then he'll run up this way, and then this is where you can bug him out. I just continue jumping up and down this little ledge here. He will go back and forward because he's unable to go down this little ledge. So we're on 6 minutes to kill him, 153 DPS, I think 160 was my best on this guy. Arcanist's cookbook, I think ideally we want the priest book, but I'm not sure which priest book sells for the most, uh, sorry, which book sells for the most. That brings us to the second boss. Did I get um So second boss we do much the same as the first one? Yeah, if you have herb, you can do the lashes at the start for sure. And it'll be good gold.
greeted too hard. The moment you greet, he's just like, no, no, fucks you. Look how much he's healing. And I don't even have a pain on him. Heartbreaking. So we're looking to beat three minutes in the last room. Uh, sorry, 13 minutes in the last room. That's what we did last run. And last run has been our best so far. Okay. He doesn't really drop anything that great other than a rogue best piece. Um, which is okay. We just need to kill him because we can't talk to the tree otherwise. The first two bosses better GPR. Um, they don't drop great stuff. Like, obviously you can sell them and it's okay, but... I wouldn't say you're doing the run specifically for the loot that they can drop. Like, it's not worth only doing the first two bosses, for example. I tried finding finding some people to buy the bow, but no luck so far. And I know that there's a priest bis piece off the last boss, and I think a druid bis gloves, but I'm not sure. But maybe I can find some people to buy it. I just need to spam more in chat. This one looks real. Nope. What the fuck, dude? There's one like directly above it and on the platform. Isn't the bow off the off this guy the same as the one from the guy in LBRS? It's just easier to get this one, right? Elven rings better than Blackstone, but that's from Tribute, I believe. So let's see how many melee guys we've got. Let's have a look. We got one, that's good. Two, three melee guys, fantastic. Gives uh, the other extreme case as an example, and we can actually just save so much time already just because of that. I love it. And the other book could spawn just here. Just can't miss that one. So, normally we would kill these if it's casters. Um, and we just kite them around this pillar here. But because they're melee, we don't actually need to kill them because we can treat them the same way as we would treat the imps. And they actually don't aggro until you uh, fight the imps. While he's in caster, make sure you're jumping on this back rock so that he doesn't get withers on you. And then when he's in dog form, you can just pump him. Just take care to keep your mana at some decent level. And again, you're going to get extra ticks on the Mind Flay if you have the range talent. Parfing is so bugged in this place, it's actually crazy. You can actually jump pretty much immediately back because when he's up the top, if he's up the top coming towards you, he's going to instantly go down here and be here. So then you can just jump back and send him far away again. It's a lot easier to kite him away by sending him up. So you've got to be a little bit lucky with phase changes, but 
when he switches to human if you if you're already down if you can just generally stay down as much as possible then uh, it's gonna go a lot cleaner for you so the imps are super fast that's the thing you need to care for so he's actually poisoned me here got a bit unlucky with pathing Fortunately, we were able to stone form everything, Dwarf OP. And when he, when he regens himself like this, you just want to try and dispel it. And the lashes just move around with him just as slow as he is. They're never really an issue. The only issue is the imps. Um, and if you kill the imps early, more will spawn. But if you kill the boss in any sort of decent time, you won't get more imps spawning and you can kill them at the end with the thornling. Youch. Um, and he's going to start walking slower. About this health. Um, and that's okay. You, we're going to spawn the Thornling in a sec. Probably going spawn it, to spawn it now. And um, the reason for that is because otherwise it makes it really hard to hit the boss. may have killed them too soon here and end up getting more imps, we'll see. Okay, we're good. So now you've got the lashes left, right? Everything is dead, but you've got these lashes, which are just annoying as fuck, right? But it's okay, because you can just send them up this way. should be enough ahead of them to avoid the uh, the main pack. If these start hitting me, I'm just going to fear them. Actually, I'm just going to fear them off now. I don't want to get dazed. Make sure I don't choke the jump. And now they're all going to evade off. And we've got a 20 minute run. So you use one dynamite, which is uh, two dense powder and three rune cloth. And you use the thorn guy that you picked up in the dungeon. And that should uh, finish off all the imps. And now we can just loot them. Uh, what do I chuck? Is the question. I'll just chuck some more, I've got loads. Okay, so the boss is looted, and that's how you kill him without dealing with any of the adds, as long as they're melee. If the range if if there's ranged ones, obviously you kill the ranged packs. And then you head in here and you loot your spoils. What kind of dynamite is it? It's just dense dynamite. The cheapest one that will do the job. the thing from Ungoro? Uh, probably, yeah. Large opal, goddamn. What can we chuck, chat? I've got so much water, actually. I'll just chuck that. I feel like large opal is rarer than arcane crystal. Unfortunate to get one of those. But yeah, 20 minute run. And if you can do three of these an hour, you are absolutely chilling. On average, you should get one arcane crystal every three runs. If you're uh, not unlucky as fuck. So hopefully that was uh, a decent explanation. Give it a 
go yourself. I don't know what to chuck. I've got so much good stuff. I think I'm going to chuck the apple. Because I'm going to go to town now anyway. Um, and you just make back the dense stones anyway that you use on the... On the dynamite, you get plenty of them. But yeah, I think I've done, what, 10 runs or so today? Is this better than Solo Tribute for Priest? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 